tell us a little bit about Gavin Kilkenny, who's our fifth signing of, uh, of the summer. What can the fans expect to see from him? Yeah, I think he's a, he's a player we've monitored for, for a few years now and um, you know, he's um, had a decent decent season at Bournemouth, probably not played as much as, he, as he'd have wanted. So um, we've kind of taken the opportunity really to, to, um, to bring him in. Um, you know, he's a, he's a very good player, he builds, builds the game. Technically, very good. Um, you know, um, something that we've um, we're short of at the minute with Joe um, leaving. So um, hopefully, it'll be a, it'll be a real good addition and help us play the way we want to play. Got a glimpse of, of what he's capable of in the game at, at our place last season. Yeah, I thought he was he was excellent in that game. And you know, you, you don't always look to the games that um, teams play against us. You know, you, listen, we scouted. 10, 15 games um, as, along with that really, really deeply. So, um, but it always helps to see them up close, live, and against players you know. Um, and I thought he played really well in the game, so um, that did him no harm. Mm. We've spoken to him, and he's, he's really keen to make a big impression here. I suppose it would have been easy for him to have stayed at Bournemouth and tried to force his way into their Premier League plans, but he's, he's keen to make a big impression. Yeah, he's motivated, he wants to play. Um, you know, he, he doesn't want to come and Sit on the bench and be a bit part player, um, you know. So that's that's what we we've targeted this season: players that want to mo are motivated to play, improve, um, and make us a better team. And I'm I'm sure he'll he'll help us in that. So he's our fifth capture of, of the window so far. Our fourth was Liam McCarran. Tell us a little bit about him. I've known about Liam since he was sort of 15, 16. Um, one of my mates who played I played with at Carlisle was the 18s manager and. He, he said, "Keep an eye on this kid," and we had him scouted. And um, you know, one or two things it, it didn't quite happen. We, we showed a fair bit of interest, but then Leeds came in and sort of not blew us away, but um, got the deal done. Um, you know, but we've, we've monitored him ever since. Um, again, another player who, who needs to play men's football regularly. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's got really good attributes. He's, he's quick. He's a strong runner. Um, you know, he's. He's been a converted winger to left back at Leeds, but um, you know we'll see him as, as direct competition for, for Josh Tymon, um, which hopefully will, will improve Josh as well. Um, you know, so again another exciting one. Um, you know, he, he might not start the season, but I'm sure with within a couple of weeks and see how he gets on pre-season, that he'll be one that will be pushing Josh. There was big news earlier on in the week when em Emre Teskel agreed to well, stay at the club fundamentally. How big a coup is that for us? Do you feel? Yeah, massive. You know, the, the the first and foremost for the academy that you know they put a lot of hard work into to Emery since he was was eight eight year old. Um, you know, he, he trained with my son, so I've known about Emery since he was seven eight, and you could always see there was a there was a top talent there. And you you know, you, it's interesting how those progress. You know, some disappear, some like Emery go on from strength to strength every year, and he's managed to do that. And it's it's really exciting that we're going to see the benefit of that. Um, hopefully. You know, we've got to be careful. We can't overhype it because he's he's a 16-year-old kid still. Um, you know, but he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's got a good family behind him, and um, you know, it bears well for the future that we can we can keep players like Emery. Um, you know, there's there's plenty more in the academy. Um, that I'm sure bigger teams, so-called bigger teams, will come knocking. Um, you know, but that that laid a bit of a statement down that we we managed to keep hold of him. Um, that will be because he can see himself plotting a, a route through to the first team? Yeah, I think there's no better time for a young player to be at this football club. Um, you know, the, the numbers we've got, hopefully we'll get a, another couple in before the season starts, but it's not a desperation. We're not going to go um, getting anyone and everyone. Um, you know, we've got real good young players, um, all at different stages of, of the career and the development. You've got Connor Taylor, who's had a loan, come in, doing really well. Will Forrester, who had a loan, came back, Again, he's had one or two injury problems. You know, you've got Tom Sparrow who forced his way into the team at the end of the season. You've got four, five, six other lads. Jack Griffiths has been training with us. Um, look really good in training. Um, again, we've got to be careful that we don't put them in too early. But um, you know, the old saying: if they're good enough, they'll get a chance. Mm. Off to Ireland next week. Um, how important is, is that trip? What are going to be the benefits? Do you feel? It's hugely. Yeah. Listen, um, it's going to be tough. First and foremost, um, physically for the lads, it, it, it's, it'll be our toughest week of pre-season. Um, there'll be no let-up. Um, it's been it's been a tough two weeks so far, but uh, we'll ramp it up next week, and that's why it's better to get away. That you've got eyes on them, 
the recovery stuff if they need a late night rub or something that you know they can get them to train the next day rather than come in and have to miss a session or whatever but um, again we've got time over there so we can go through the more so with the new players of the style of play the fundamentals and non-negotiables and um, again probably more important for me get, get the team together and you know there's, there's new players come in there's players that haven't met there's obviously you know a couple that have come come back from loans um, you know, and they need to bond and be together and create a team spirit that's going to get us through the season. Will Jacob Brown be back for that? Because I know he's been given extended leave, hasn't he, because of his international Yeah, career. Brown has had a tough summer, but um, if anyone can handle it, he, he can. But, um, yeah, listen, we'll have to be careful again with Brownie because of how fit he is. He'll come in, probably look brilliant, and we'll want to push him straight away. But we'll have to hold back a little bit. He's, he's had a tough summer with, away with Scotland. Um, you know, so... Uh, but he's he's back in tomorrow. Uh, he'll come he'll come to court with everyone else, um, you know. And uh, again, ho we're hoping for the same for Brownie and improvement again. You know, had a great season last season. He's had the highs going away with Scotland. Probably didn't play as much as he wanted with them. But um, he's got he's got to start again and and go and make sure he's he, he's he's improving as well for from what he did last season.